storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. Ari Lennox, all right, she's a musician. She's a really sweet person, has a really sweet voice. She, like, when Ari speaks, she kind of reminds me of Fantasia, how they have, like, a grown lady but a little girl voice at the same damn time. I think it's just really cute. But anyway, Ari Lennox was simply trying to figure out how to put on a lace front. You know, this quarantine times got us all messed up. It can't none of us go see the 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 beautician or the or the barber guy. That's why I'm over here looking so scruffy and rough. But some of y'all told me to keep the scruffy look and to keep the full beard. So hell, I'm gonna do it. Maybe this quarantine got me looking better than I ever did. But anyway, Snoop Dogg brought his old saggy ball ass into our comment section to say, why don't you, what, no, he said, what happened to just wearing your own hair? So let's play her video, and then we're going to give Snoop Dogg his script for putting his big ass nose and shit that, uh, in business that don't concern him. Okay. God damn lie. You're a goddamn lie, Justine. Okay. 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 Try this one more motherfucking time. That's right. We're gonna push you to the front. We're gonna close my eyes. And we're gonna lay you the fuck down, bitch, like a goddamn fucking criminal. <laughs> caught by the fucking ops. When we fucking open our goddamn eyes, this shit's gonna be laid. This shit is gonna be fucking laid like a goddamn Fucking sex worker. <laughs> Not the got to be glue. Okay. All right. Damn, so let's stop that God there. Damn, All right. So now I know y'all don't see his comment, but Snoop scrolled through there and said, what happened to wearing your own hair? Now, if you guys know anything about Ari Lennox, Ari Lennox literally does not bother anybody. So coming into her comment section that she did not ask your old ass to come into and bother her when you should be bothering your wife at night and not those cum bucket whores that you do out in the streets. And I got me looking at you kind of funny, Snoop. You know, you already lost your G card to me when you, well, we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. So Calvin Brodus Jr., Snoop Doggy Dog, Snoop Lion, receding hairline, whatever you want to call yourself, I'm going to simply tell you this. What happened to wearing your hair? Oh, what happened to being sober, Snoop Dogg? Because you have never been sober in your whole life. I mean, not only do you smoke weed, you allegedly do coke, and you exp mm, we're not. Mm, I was about to say so. What happened to being sober, Snoop Dogg? I'm gonna just leave that at that. What happened to being faithful to your wife? Because you have never been faithful to, to boss lady. You ain't been faithful to her from the start, and she been sticking by your side through thick and thin. And you still have continued to cheat on her and disrespect her. So, what happened to wearing your hair? What happened to being faithful to your wife? What happened to not? Embarrassing your kids by screwing a cum rag that's their same damn age. Shout out to Selena Powell. What happened to having hit records, Snoop? Because you ain't had no hit records in about 10 years. What happened to being a real G, Snoop? A real gangster and not letting a frozen, stiff faced woman who's in a slave contract with her husband tell you you wrong for simply stating the shit that we all were thinking at the end of the damn day. You lost a lot of my respect, Snoop, when you went on Red Table talking and apologized for shit that you know damn well you was not sorry for. When you told Gail that she was looking like a dog faced the bitch, a dog hit, but whatever he called her. We all felt it. We didn't take offense to it because we knew you was talking about her. You were talking about all of us. We had enough sense to understand that. Jada needed some content for her show. Oprah got offended. And so the powers that be made your ass get in the office and apologize. But you lost your G card to that shit. You going to be a G or you going to be an industry puppet? It's really your choice, Snoop. But at the end of the day, before you come for somebody in their hair, and you don't even know what you're talking about because Ari literally wears her hair all the time. You called her one time with a wig and now you got some shit to say. I suggest you working on saving the few strands of dreads you got left because you out here, you about to be looking like Stevie Wonder in a minute.